Hi everyone, I'm Tulin and I'm a product manager at Shopify. With Chris and Martin, I'm going to walk you through the new theme app extensions in Online Star 2.0. We'll start with what a theme app extension is, then talk about how to build one using different app blocks. And finally, we'll cover how to migrate your app to use theme app extensions. After this presentation, we'll hold a Q&A over Discord. Let's get started. As you all probably already know, currently there's no structured end-to-end -end solution for apps to easily integrate with themes. Developers need to build integration logic for every theme and host assets themselves, which makes it challenging to build features that work fast and consistently across all themes. It is also a painful experience for merchants to enable or disable apps in their storefront. The Product Reviews app is currently asking merchants to copy-paste code to their theme files. Merchants will need to figure out where to add this code as it can change depending on the theme, which can be intimidating for non-technical merchants. Injecting code to a theme will also take merchants off of the theme upgrade path. First of all, the code will remain on the theme even when the app is uninstalled. To solve these challenges, we are introducing theme app extensions, allowing you to extend apps into merchants' themes via app blocks. Theme app extensions represent the future of app building on Shopify. A theme app extension is a bundle of theme files provided by the app where Shopify takes care of the rendering and hosting of assets. These extensions are created, published, and updated from the Shopify CLI, just like other app extensions. Apps do not touch a theme's code. This means uninstalls are also cleaner with ghost code automatically removed. App blocks represent a radical change in the way apps are included inside of themes. App developers can now build UI components that can be added removed and configured directly through the theme editor. There are two ways for app blocks to extend the online store. First way is when an app block is added to a section or added as full width within a platform provided app section. Second is what we called app embed blocks, injected in the head or body of a page. This is especially handy for when an app is trying to add a script to a page or a floating element like a chat widget. Let's see app blocks in action. I can add the star ratings badge to the product section and drag it inline. I can also add the customer reviews app block as full width to the page wrapped in platform provided app section. App embed blocks can be accessed, enabled, and configured under the theme settings. As seen in this example, I can enable the Shopify chat app and configure the visual settings without leaving the editor. Now, Chris will tell you how to build a theme app extension. Thank you, Tulan. Great. Now that you know what theme app extensions are, let's see how to build one. First, make sure you have the Shopify command line tool installed. I've got version 2 here. And we're going to use the extension create subcommand to create a new extension associated with our app. I'm going to select theme app extension here. And this creates for us a few sample uh, directories that we're going to need. And to start with, let's create a new block called star rating liquid. And if you've ever written uh, theme section before, this is going to look very familiar. We've got our liquid code at the top here, we've got the schema below, and for our app blocks, we're going to say this one targets a section, which means it can be added into a section. We're going to use the extension push command to upload this to Shopify. And here we have the editor open. I have Dawn installed, which already has support for theme app extensions. We click on add block, and we can see down below our star rating block available here with our very fancy message. And that can be reordered like other blocks can. You can change the visibility 
again, like other blocks. So back to our block code, let's make this a little bit more uh, sophisticated. We're going to grab our product rating from uh, a meta field here. You can see we're using the product drop meta fields uh, attribute here to grab our rating. And we're going to render that out using a snippet. So we snippets are rendered using the render uh, tag and snippets get added into the snippets folder. So we're just going to create one called stars.liquid and put our rendering code in here. Just a very simple for loop to render out one star per, per rating and save that out and push it up again. And if we show our, um, our block again, you can see we're rendering out five star skis. Fantastic. If we go back to our block code, notice we are referencing the product directly here. So what if this block were to be added into a featured product section? We would want the this we probably want this block to reference that section's product, not the page's product. And so to support that, we've added something to theme app extensions called autofill. So you these this is a new field that can be added onto a setting. Here you can see we've added two settings, a product setting and a color setting. The product setting has autofill true, which means that when it's added to a section, it will first try and use this, a section's product setting if that exists. Otherwise, it will fall back to using the page's product. In order to use this, we have to go up here and change our product to instead reference the block setting product like this. We're also going to use our color and again we'll push this up. Now in order to see autofill at work we're going to remove our old block and we're going to re-add it here and you can see that the product here has picked up our product um, data source. And as we also have our color picker here. We're going to pick a nice blue for our stars instead. And put this back where we wanted it. Something to keep in mind as a uplock developer is that your blocks can be added in many different places on the page. Here they're added within a section, but they can also be added kind of in a section on their own. If you look down here, the add section button, the blocks also will show up here. And so they can be added wrapped in their own section kind of as a, a full width block. So something to keep in mind is the block should be responsive to the space that they're given. And let's quickly now take a look at the second type of block that we can create called app embeds. And these can be used in cases where you want content added to the page that doesn't really fit into the kind of section block uh, layout. Um, so here we're adding um, an app embed, which we have target is body, which means that this content here will be rendered at the end of the body of the, the final HTML document. And we're just going to be rendering out a JPEG, resizing it to uh, 100 pixels, and putting that at the bottom right of the page. And lastly, we need our actual image. So I found a nice one here. I'm just going to download this quickly. Um, and now we're going to push all this code back up to Shopify. Now the nice thing about uh, bundling assets with your theme map extension is that these are hosted on Shopify CDN, so they're really fast to, to load and, uh, and render. App embeds can be accessed through the theme, theme settings of the editor here. We click that on here and you can see our little skier there. So if we save this, you can actually see app embed follow is enabled on all pages of, of the store, not just the product page. So we've made several changes to our demo store here. What if uh, the merchant decides they don't want this application installed anymore? With theme app extensions, they can be cleanly uninstalled without leaving any ghost code behind, simply by going to the app section of the admin and clicking on delete. You can delete the app here and we go back to our page and we refresh and our little skier is gone and our star ratings are gone as well. 
So those are the basics of how to create theme app extensions, and I hope you find exciting ways to use these in your apps. That was super cool. Thanks, Chris. Now let's look at how to migrate your existing project to using theme app extensions. Let's take a step back and look at the current state of things. Integrating with the themes today is quite involved and requires many steps. Assuming you've figured out where and what code you need to inject for, for, for the specific theme you're targeting, you need to go through the following steps. Host your supporting assets somewhere to reference them in the theme. Those include JavaScript, CSS, SVGs, etc. Then, as shown in step one in this diagram, you call the script tag API to load your JavaScript on all pages of the online store, even pages where your code is not needed. Next, in step two, you call the assets API to inject one or multiple liquid snippets, modify theme files, and include links to other supporting assets. Those are a lot of steps. And whenever a merchant switches themes, you need to repeat the process all over again. If you need to push an update to your app, then you also need to repeat the process, but this time for all merchants that have installed your app across all of Shopify. Finally, when your app is uninstalled, you need to provide instructions to merchants so that they can remove any code you added to the theme, which otherwise could leave it in an inconsistent consistent or broken state. As we've seen with Tool and Chris, there are two types of app blocks, all, groups with, all grouped within one theme app extension. App blocks are surfaced in the editors and the editor for merchant to add, configure, preview, and save. No need to provide complex integration steps. Numerous calls to the script tag API or change theme files via the assets API to integrate your app. You don't even need to provide uninstallation instructions since app blocks are removed automatically, as you've seen in Chris's demo. If your app currently uses the script tag API to inject JavaScript in a theme, or if you're using the assets API to add liquid or other content to the head or body of the document, then you should consider migrating your, your, um, your app to using an app embed block. If your app cur currently modifies theme section files via the assets API to integrate inline within theme section or as a full width section, then you should consider migrating to app blocks. There are a few things to note when you're migrating to an app embed block. First, in terms of best practices, we recommend using the JavaScript and stylesheet schema attribute to inject assets into the head. We also recommend using the templates attribute to target specific template types. If your app embed block is rendered on product and on the product and the collection pages only, then set that field accordingly so that you're not we're not loading your app embed block on other pages. Also, we recommend that you store all relevant app embed block data in meta fields for fast rendering and try to limit any ex external dependencies. Since you will no, no longer need to use a script tag or asset API, you should remove all of the unnecessary API scopes. Also, in your installation instructions, you should now point merchants to the editor so that they can enable your app embed block. Check out our docs on Shopify Dev to see how you can deep link to the right location in the editor. Finally, all themes, regardless of whether they are section dev or compatible or not, will support app embed blocks. App blocks, as we, as we mentioned before, will be rendered inline, and therefore they leverage the full power of Shopify's liquid rendering engine. We recommend preferring li liquid server-side rendering over client-side rendering whenever possible. We also recommend storing your app's data in meta fields and to host all of your supporting assets within the theme app extension package to limit any external dependency and ensure fast load times. Also, since the app blocks can be added in different areas of the theme, it should accommodate for all sorts of real estate possibilities. We recommend building your app blocks to be responsive. Be on the lookout for a blog post on the topic on the Shopify blog. One more thing to note when migrating to app, to, to app blocks, only sections that are enabled themes support them. Your app will therefore need to detect the, theme, the merchant's theme if the merchant's theme supports sections everywhere and whether the section you're targeting supports app blocks. Check our docs on Shopify Dev or see the product review sample app that we've built that's available uh, on GitHub to see how you could achieve this. With theme app extensions, you no longer need to roll out updates using your own custom mechanisms. Shopify will help you manage your extensions lifecycle. From the partners dashboard, you can create new versions of your extension and easily publish to all of your, all of your merchants online store with just a single click. You can also push your changes to a draft version that can be tested on your development stores. This, this will allow you to test without impacting any production shops. Okay, let's recap. Why should you start building theme app extensions? First, 
We've mentioned that we've now built structure into Teams where app blocks can be seamlessly integrated. Therefore, you no longer need to build multiple versions of your app's integration code to support every possible theme out there. In fact, you can integrate without modifying theme files at all, which means you also no longer need to worry about cleaning up your app codes uh, after uninstall. You're also making it easier uh, than ever for merchants to customize and preview your app integration directly within the theme editor. You're ensuring fast load times all over the world by delivering assets over Shopify CDN. We make it easy for you to manage your extensions, versions, and deploy to all merchants with just a single click. And finally, theme, theme app extensions prepare your app for the future when merchants increasingly adopt online store 2.0 themes. Starting today, theme app extensions are available to all developers, which means you can start building your app blocks immediately. We're still working out the timeline, but as mentioned previously on the main stage, we will eventually be deprecating the script tag API in favor of theme app extensions. This will come later. In August, we will be releasing theme app extensions to all merchants alongside Dawn. Prepare your app for online store 2.0 with theme app extensions today. That is it for today. Thank you for watching, and we invite you to join us in Discord for a Q&A session.